Thank you, Heidi, for sharing that wonderful, wonderful letter. So, hey, everybody, I am wrapping up the town hall meeting today. So we didn't say this earlier, but if you are watching this, it is the first week of November. So that is just hard to believe that we are on the second month of the end of the year. Two more months left of 2021, and then we're moving into a new year, new beginning. So happy November, everybody. Let's first start with those who are celebrating birthdays. And we've got a decent amount of birthdays the first week of November. So to kick it off on the first, which already happened, which was on Monday, we have Annie Livingston. Happy birthday to Annie. Annie's a wonderful gal. You always see her around. On the 2nd of November, we have Miss Jean Anderson, who is also a wonderful lady. Jean, happy birthday to you. On the 3rd, we have Mr. Heinz Bauscher. Happy birthday to you, Heinz. I hope you have a good day. On the 6th, which I believe is Saturday, yes, we've got Bernie Foley. So happy birthday to you, Bernie. And then on the 7th, we've got two birthdays for two beautiful ladies. We've got Miss Dee Dee Baldwin, who is our secretary, I believe, of the Residents Association. And then we've got a new resident, Nancy Seifert. So happy birthday to everybody who is celebrating a birthday the first week of November. Um, November for me is a special birthday month. Um, my little brother's birthday is in November, and then my twin nephew's birthday is in November. So I love the month of November for birthdays. So lots of stuff going on in November. On Tuesday the 2nd, we had um, the election, so we took some people to the polls. Another big, big holiday event coming up in November is our Veterans Day. So shout out to all the veterans and a couple announcements for you. We've got two events coming up for our vets. We've got our in-house veteran luncheon, which is actually on Veterans Day on Thursday, November 11th. And then we're having a well, we're not having, but we're taking you to a veterans lunch hosted by the state representative at the Green Lane Firehouse. So you do need to sign up for both of those. Um, if you're watching this, it's actually probably too late to RSVP to the, the lunch at Green Lane Firehouse. We put a little notice on everybody's door who is a veteran. So um, as you're going throughout the week, just uh, you know, make sure that if you know anybody who's a veteran, just to, to offer your thanks to them. On Thursday, um, November 4th, we have another encore showing of the Father of the Bride, Coffee Man's wedding video of his beautiful daughter. If you did not get a chance to go in October and the show is already sold out for Thursday, this Thursday the 4th, we've got another two showings coming up in the middle of November on the 19th. So don't worry if you have not seen the Coffee Man's wedding video, you are gonna see it. We promise we'll add more if we need to. One other announcement I want to make is that this Friday we are having the USO show with Lori and Jim. So come on out Friday at 2 o'clock um, and that's going to be a great time for everybody. So lots of stuff going on in the month of November. Um, we had a big full town hall today so I'm not going to keep you too much longer. Two other housekeeping announcements if that's what you call it. Just want to remind everybody again that there are no candles or fire allowed in your apartment. So no candle burning, um, no fires. We don't have fireplaces in the apartment, but we do have some nice fireplaces in the lobby which burn fake fire. So um, the other thing I just want to announce quickly is that if you could leave the washer doors open when you are doing your laundry, um, I guess there is some mold that is accumulating on the rubber ring because the washers are used and then the door is shut and all that moisture is being locked in um, the washing machine. So if you could just keep that in mind after you do a load of wash, please leave the washer door just cracked open a little bit so that has some time to air out. I think that's all the things that I have for you. The only thing that I want to remind you is that we are stepping into the cold season. Um, the booster shots are going to be this week, as Mimi had mentioned. They're going to be on the 4th. We are asking everybody to continue wearing their mask. We don't like being the mask police. I don't like pe having to tell people to put their mask on in an activity. Um, but unfortunately, that's where we're at right now, especially with cold season. We want to keep everybody protected. So please remember that when you come into an activity, if you're coming out for entertainment, anything like that, you are required to wear your mask. So we appreciate your cooperation with that in advance. And you are saving my loud breath when I have to tell everybody, put your mask on, pull your mask up. The mask is not protecting you like this. 
it's not protecting you like this. It's got to be over your nose and under your chin. So friendly reminder, wear the mask. Hopefully in 2022, these things are ancient history. I hope so. So everybody have a beautiful first week of November. We love you and we will see you next week.